All right. Refocus. Got to focus on qualifying here. I need to lay down a solid lap. Take a look here at the standings. We'll see what the other guys are posting as they come through. 29.6 in practice. It'd be great to replicate that. You know, if I get something. Dang it. That's not what I wanted. Ding the safety rating before I even get going. Super frustrating. Alright. Brush it off. Reset. Just overdrove it coming off Damn the corner it. and didn't time it right. There we go. Break, break, break. In this track, the way that it often works, just setting a time, because so many people will hit the wall, just setting a time is going to make a huge difference. So, dive it down in, hold the gas pretty well, going to touch the brake on corner exit to get that good run off. That's how it's supposed to work. That's really good. A tenth quicker than my optimal time. Oh, that almost threw it away. Going to have a good exit off of 4-2. That is much quicker than what I did in practice. I'll take that. I'll take that all the way to the bank. That feels great. That's a good time. I think it's a good time. We'll see. I'm good with that. Ain't gonna be a pole position lap, but might be pretty decent. Right now it's uh, fourth quick. What a good field we got. I see a number 21 car. I don't know if that's gonna be it or what? Slow down. There we go. 45 miles per hour for the pit road. So I'm in the number four car and right now I'm qualified fourth a half second off the fastest time. So that shows you how much more time there is to be had out there. I almost wonder if some of these guys might be down shifting into third gear in three and four because it does feel like the engine bogs down a bit there. Um, look at that Christmas color looking pit board that, uh, that sticks out nicely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to try shifting. I don't know if they are because it did, it really does bog down. So maybe in a late run, I might try throwing into the third gear coming off four and see what happens. Photon, no, uh, hope I pronounced that right. Welcome. I, don't th I think it's the first time I've seen you in the chat. So, uh, welcome to the stream here. Um, gonna try to put on a good race for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> first time in a long time that I've actually run the B-Fixed car. I was talking about it earlier. I, mi I missed the registration for A-Fixed, which is what I usually run. The time slot's 15 minutes apart. Um, so I was going to run the A-Fixed race at Darlington, missed the registration, so now I'm running B-Fixed, which is a lot of fun, um, first time I've done it in a while. Uh, you know, who knows, I mean, it, it's possible that the way that things work out is that I'll register, you know, full participation in A, B, C, and D. A and D tends to be what I focus on most, but it's entirely possible that I'll do a little bit more participation in C-Fixed than I do normally this year, um, and also uh, B-Fixed. You know, after I get my four races logged in A, I might switch over to B um, if one of those four races had good points. So, looks like we're going to be starting in fourth place here. Um, thank you, man. Yeah, Darlington's a tough track. It's a lot of fun, though. So. 
Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Like I said, this one was a kind of a uh, throwback like for Rusty. You can line up on the outside. Didn't see that. Pit road is closed. One right Wait, in front check. of me. That looks pretty cool. I uh, got you, Robert. Um, Sir, got a question. Really I'm like looking that. for new headphones. I've got Logitech now, and they're absolutely fine. I just That's want the idea. a little bit better. Stay out of trouble Where and stay up front. What do I get? And I'd like wireless. Ooh, wireless headphones. Do you have a bike kicker? Yeah, I got you. Calvin. <laughs> I use Sennheiser, I believe is the brand. So the tire spin on the brand. starts of these cars, too. That's good to know. It's a cord. It's got a cord to it, but it seems to work pretty good. The wires bug me. That's why I'm thinking about getting wireless. Yeah, I never tried one of those. Got to switch over to the relative. Hope that that works well. I am going to try some things to try to get a little bit more information on the screen for you guys in the near future. But um, I think that as it stands right now, you know, this setup works pretty well. Um, at least, you know, you got the relative standings over there. You can see my speed and my gear and stuff like that. And left. I actually don't even look at that lower left corner. That's out of my vision when I'm driving. I've got the tack. I never know what speed I'm going. Um, 50 laps without a pit stop. Yeah, we can probably make it 50 without a pit stop, but, I mean, there's going to be wrecks. <laughs> Jameer, I really like that paint scheme, man. That's awesome. Alright, so here we go. One to green. This is going to be the uh, B-Fixed Xfinity Series race at uh, Darlington. It is uh, first week of... Uh, Season 1 for the 2018 calendar year. I am starting P4 in the number 4 car. It's the Bernie Salander's Oligarchy Response Team Camaro. So uh, outside row 2, just going to try to get a good start. Uh, single up and hopefully hold good position and log some laps. Wait for that one car to go. Seven cars getting way too far out in front. Which is going to jam us up. Ten car in the back of me because it's a little bit too hasty. Three car in the back of me. What is happening? Save us some fuel whenever you can for butts. I like how the three is blaming everyone for that. Welcome to the B-Fix. Wow, all I heard was like crashing across the finish line and then I didn't see anything happen, but then whoever went to turn <laughs> one, like, they were... It's fine. If I made the public service announcement, the last one of these I ran, the freaking... Probably three quarters of the field was wrecked before the start finish line. That's crazy. I just got like six X in one lap. And he's got no one to blame but himself for that either, to be yeah, honest. That's why, <laughs> that's why I hang back and I don't the starts. Yeah, I don't know why you guys are trying to win the race in turn one. You gotta pay attention to what's going on around you. If guys are checking up in front of you, that means you need to check up as well. They could be lining up behind the gate. Yeah, I didn't even have time. I mean, I wasn't even pushing the issue, but I think somebody just was getting way easy getting into the corner, maybe. They were just way too slow. Yeah, I mean... I'm it's quite possible. What's funny race about race. it is that these cars are a lot easier to drive around here than the uh, A fix cars are, but I don't think that I think that the drivers are worse because I mean the start got kind of messed up because the seven had to check up because of the way that the one was bringing them down, so that jammed us up. I got hit in the back by the ten, <laughs> and then. When I went down, I was 
you know, cleared on the three, and I had to slow up for the eight, and the three got in the back of me again. To be extremely clear, the one held his speed, and the seven decided that he wanted to try and get a jump and anticipate the start. No, I agree with you on that. I said you were you were holding your speed, and the seven moved up in front of you, and I knew that that was going to be bad for me because I'm like. When the one goes, the seven's going to be dead in the water, and that means I'm going to be stuck behind everybody. Yeah, sorry I got to the back of whoever when, when it might slow down there. Was that you four? Yeah, no, you're fine. I, it was a zero X, um, so I don't think I've got any damage or anything like that from it. I hope your front end isn't messed up too bad. One to go. Okay. Should be on outside this time. One. Hey, I'll take the wheel spin again, even though we only zero, did nine, half a corner, it's going to spin like a ton of Yeah. Is there a way to check um, how much <laughs> SR you currently have inside of the window? Uh, live updates on SR? I don't know. I would check. There are, there are a couple sites. Uh, Kutu might be the first one to check for something like that. I don't know... I think there's iRacer stuff or something like that is another one. I haven't got too many apps for myself, personally. Alright, thanks. Tell you what, I mean, what's fun to place race at in this place when you get about 30 laps? So let's time. see Damn it, we never get if the uh, seven's going to try to do that again. I'm going to try to Last night I had a really long run. I think we went lay like back a little bit. You're on 15 laps here, like 40. Let's see, there goes the one. This time the seven's away much better. Alright, so here we go again. I've got clear behind me. No hero stuff going into the corner. There we go. Much better this time. That's what I'm talking about. Get that good run off of turn two. Ooh. I almost locked, out, <laughs> locked it up going into three. <laughs> I'm actually kind of worried about what I did to my tires there. Um, Sean, I don't think we ever touched in that. You getting up in the wall? I I'm out of flat spot of in my right front. I don't think it's too bad. I'll stay out again because I, I don't want to give up all this track position. Although at the same time, I might not be giving up that much. What does that mean? Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what that means at all. But, uh, yeah, staying out right now, I'm just keeping the track position. If they're going to keep wrecking on every I'm restart. Sure we never touched. I, uh, I don't want to be a part of it. On that. You might have got hit by someone else and thought it was you. That happens a lot. Behind you, Sean. We never got a, any X's, but I'm pretty sure yeah, like we were dog. close but never even touched. Coming to the outside. Uh, I don't know what outside. happened. Outside. Check the replay. Could have been net code too. It might have been totally different on his end. The nine. the nine doesn't know how to take a wave around. That's funny. Um, so here we go. We are resetting it. By the way, if you guys have, if you guys feel like it, go ahead and give me a follow on the channel. If you've already done that and I haven't thanked you, I apologize. I don't get this an auditory cue or yeah. anything in the chat. I'm you know, still working on getting that stuff set up. Plays the big thing I always, on the break of the gap. after the race People concludes, though, I thank any new followers that I've gotten through the duration of the race. Um, I know that's not necessarily People proper twitch agate kid but i'm still accidents. working on this and getting into the flow of how i do things so if you do a follow or you do subscribe and you don't get an automatic thank you for me on that i understand you know i'm still relatively new to this still working out some of the kinks and trying to get things so that i set correctly so that i have the proper information um so yeah a little bit of I know. You know, I guess we can call it excuses or whatever for my poor uh, 
production values. But I'm working on it and trying to get it better. Just uh, you know, steady improvement. So I think I try to add one thing at a time. I'm not going to overhaul the channel all at once. <laughs> I just want a few tricks, but slide it around and I it don't hurt it. Thanks for Pally. Uh, thank you guys. But you know, I, I look. I understand. You know, for you guys coming in and watching, um, some people have certain expectations. So, you know, I try to do uh, the best I can for you guys. Um, but you know, this is fun for me. It's a hobby. So. You guys watching makes it more fun, so I appreciate you guys tuning in, participating in chat, um, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. So, a little bit of eye pacing, but we're going to get set back one to green here, and once again, I'm going to be starting in fourth place on the outside, but I have a different look out front, the seven lost second Radio place to the eight. And that's going to put me behind the eight of David A. Roach on the start of this one. Jameer is on the inside. Bob has led the whole thing so far. Um, we have yet to complete a green flag lap. Yeah. No, I, I do need all eyes on the road at all times, so I will... Uh, <laughs> no, it's... It's not white wine. It is actually a wine bottle that I filled with water. It's just an easier water delivery system than a glass. Um, sometimes you'll see me racing with beer or alcohol because it is sim racing, but water helps keep me hydrated and uh, doesn't diminish my reaction time as the race goes along. So here we go. <laughs> uh, Pace car is going to drop. Going to watch that one car get on the restart. Eight's rolling up right next to him. There goes the one. Got a good, good jump there. Got the seven to the inside of me, which is not actually what I want going into the corner. Yeah, I'm going to lose a spot to the two. Job number one right now is to not wreck the car. So if I give up one spot, especially to a guy who's probably faster than me like that two is, it's fine. All right, so now we've scorched these tires for three laps. Um, I guess eventually they got to wreck out here. I don't know. What did... <laughs> I only race after about six or seven <laughs> beers. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I promise you it's actually water. <laughs> uh, track position's good, but, you know, the biggest thing for me with track position right now is that it's keeping me in front of these wrecks that keep I happening. The first genius is going to be that pulls off and sits. Um, and, and I mean that not sarcastically. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm I still staying out. I, I would say one more. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's so hard to pit when you only get one lap on the but tires. Lap it's hard to justify it. Video. Um, <laughs> how many bottles of white wine do you use to start with? Like, I, I've had one beer today already. Um, if, you, if you want to see a good reason why not to drink while racing on iRacing, if you go back through, I'm pretty sure I've got it highlighted. I didn't upload it to YouTube yet. But go back through and find the video. It was, it's a truck race at Talladega. It's, I think it's titled How to Get Suspended in Eye Racing. <laughs> and you can see why uh, drinking while racing is not always the best bad, idea. I mean, um, sometimes those, it, those inhibitions can be your friend. Hey, I was talking in general. The one here. No, you don't need new tires thrown yeah, under yellow. Run more than 30 um, I actually think that, you know, starting on the inside is... I prefer that to starting on the outside. Uh, they have a Rockingham in England. Um, starting on the inside is preference is preferable to starting on the outside for 
Again, what I said is my main goal here is to not wreck the car. Um, that means I'm not going to have someone to my inside going into turn one. I kind of soft shooted, soft pedaled it a little bit going into the corner because I knew that I had the seven on the inside. That gave the two the line, but I'm still running top five. The, the big thing is that I'm in front of the mess that keeps going on uh, behind us that keeps bringing out these cautions. And we've still got 17 on the lead lap, so... You know, that it's... I would lose a few to a lot of positions if I pitted. Because there's always a break point where, uh, you know, someone, you know, after a certain point, everyone's pitting. So I just want to get a few laps on the tires before I pit. Um, you know, we've barely ahead, completed nice three green flag laps Pat with the 21. tires as they are, so. They're probably still at 97 or 98 percent, um, and I'm not at a disadvantage because no one else has been pitting. So we'll see. Uh, pitting and getting crushed tires does no good if you get caught in a wreck. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean. Obviously, track position matters a lot. Passing at this track is really difficult. Um, but my main focus right now is just keeping the car undamaged. Um, if you got a the big, you can't make those moves at the end of the race if your car's all beat to heck. So, uh, all right, I believe in them. You know, we're gonna make it. <laughs> Bob has faith. I'm not sure that I had the, the, the these guys have not given me any confidence that they can do it. Let's hope that everyone keeps their heads on straight though. I want to get a little bit of racing here for you guys. Jump the gun a little bit more. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh boy. I was late to the gas there. Oh my goodness, that two's aggressive. Lost another spot to the 12. And here comes the three. Not going to fight him with that one either. One lap completed under green, my goodness. I never thought I'd see the day. 12's in the wall. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Back underneath the three. He's doing the old crossover move that the driver of that three car made so popular here at Darlington. Didn't work. He's got to run down the back straight, but not good enough, I don't think. Oh, jeez, man. Come on. It's all right. It's the second time he's run into me like that. I just don't want to run, especially into turn one and two. I do not, I don't like running side by side into turn one. So here we go. Picking her up. Got one spun around on the front straight. Another one down low. It's going to take cars off the lead lap, so that's fine by me. Of course, everyone, everyone's going to pit this time. Oh, come on. Don't, don't tell me that I'm going to be put behind the 19 here. Yeah, man, I'm fine. 
All, all, all of my contact has been squarely in the middle of the rear bumper, so that doesn't hurt me at all. <laughs> all right. Did, did people put on brakes more getting in there, or what? Maybe lining up behind the three. Yeah, sitting on bottom of the pull in front of somebody. It's possible that I checked up a little bit harder than normal. I don't know, but I, I felt like I was doing normal amount of brake and keep. I kept consistent distance from me and the next three guys in front of me. So felt like you got in a little bit hard, but I don't know. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, here we go. Got to try to get closed up here now. I not gonna, I'm not gonna get closed up, so we're not gaining any spots on this pit stop. But we shouldn't lose any either. And then half laps with about three tenths off. Remember, I'm in the uh, fourth place pit stall, so it's gonna be deep down pit road. Just try to drive it 45 best I can. I'm not gonna be repairing any of that damage because it won't hurt my car. It's all just cosmetic. So, as soon as they drop the jack, I'm going to be gone. There I don't think go. I made it through a single pit stop in the last six races without overshooting my stop. Pretty good. These signs are killing me. Getting the four tires. That ain't the only one. That pit, go! Yeah, that moves the damn pit side or something, I guess. There's a there's like two of them, and it's playing with my eyes. I... I don't know, I actually... I've been finding it easier to uh, line up my pit stall since they up, made the update. Behind the I, having the animated sign drop down, I, it, I found it actually easier. Plus, you got the pit guys running out. Helps right, me line up a lot easier behind. than it used to be. Like yeah, the crew, the animated the crew is awesome. Like you be lining up the um, and then you get in the box, and all of a sudden you're passing. Exactly. And let's see. You know, have a little message there that says you've entered for your. <laughs> yeah, everyone's trying to jump past like they're Kyle Busch, but they aren't. So you're sitting there for like a second. Uh, guys, to start working, and you don't know if you're there or not. I don't know. Ky Kyle, I feel like right, he's right. gotten his head screwed out. on correctly in recent years. Oh, I love it. Perfect. And love uh, it. Oh, yeah, perfect. You know, he's, he's basically showing what he can do. Oh, God. Um, this is definitely Checkers or Wreckers type racing. All right. And now I'm caught up on chat. <laughs> All right. You're going to have to come around. Love that pit crew, though. That animated pit crew really just adds a little Shot bit of nice flash. Why up behind is, a, you're staying out on old tires, and B, the entire right side of your car is destroyed. Oh, man. No. Uh, is, is Sean really staying out on old tires? That's a... Uh, that's a bad call. No, but we don't see a problem. <laughs> <laughs> send it, baby. Just send it. There, there, there's going to be mean, a wreck going right into turn one. Off, so you might as well just not lift and send the one. Lighting up behind the tall. Well, never, never lift, guys. Never lift. Yeah, although Denny Hamlin's been the king of speeding penalties the past couple of years, it seems, man. That guy... Oh, it was funny. <laughs> I was in a last last winter. I was in a truck series race with Denny Hamlin before the Daytona 500. He got a speeding penalty in the truck race here on iRacing, and that's what everyone was like. Oh yeah, that's the, that that is the Denny Hamlin. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Gonna restart. I'm in eighth place. So I lost a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't want fuel on the next pit stop. I want to. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Get it a little bit lighter. Um, shouldn't have taken fuel this time. Um, here we go. Let's see. Now I'm back in eighth. See, this is a problem. I've been falling back, falling back. I had that great track position to start this race. And, you know, just through a little bit of conservative driving, uh... Lost a few spots here and there. And now I've got a lot more drivers in front of me on this restart. And I've got the 12 car who technically is clear. But 
Go get him. Barely. I'm gonna be real easy around this 18 car. There we go. Is it not pitting did not work out well for the 18. He fell back to eighth in one lap. And he's gonna lose more. But he managed to not get, you know, anyone else involved in his problems, so that works. No, uh, no harm, no foul there. I'm up to seventh spot, and now that the 12 has hit the wall, I got a good run on him. Closed right up on his tail down that straightaway. And I'm going to get a good run off of four. So we'll see what happens. That's halfway. We basically did the first half of the race under caution, so maybe the second half will go green and we'll get some real good racing here. 12 is having trouble on exit on two. That's going to be an opportunity. That's where I'm going to pass him next time by. Unless I can get him off four here. Might do it. Let's see if he yields to me. Did not. But here we go. Got to get him to run again off to. Gonna get right to his bumper again. Off of four. This time I'm gonna just stick to his bumper and try to stay glued so that I can use the advantage of that better corner exit that I'm getting off two and really get a good run into three. That's what I want to do. Uh, didn't line him up the way that I didn't get as much of an advantage off that exit as I had been that time. He's slowing way down. <laughs> He's just going to let me buy. That works too. Low, 30 0, Thanks, 12. He did not want any part of me in his rear view mirror, apparently. So I'll take that. Now I got to work on getting back to the top five. Put that same kind of pressure here on uh, David in the eight. Uh, that was probably smart racing by Vinny to just let me buy. Better for both of us. He didn't have the speed that I had, and uh, you know, it would, if he would have tried racing me hard, it could have wrecked both of us. So, smart move. Now it's time to work on the eight, feathering it through three and four. I got a half second to reel on on him still. Just got to keep getting that, just a little bit of break to set the car for that exit off too. <laughs> and that's where I'm gaining time. Yeah, I'll take them three laps and put them right on the home tape. So it's the how you race. Ah, man, Darlington stripe right there. Paid the price a little bit, but that won't hurt it too bad. Still, you know, gained a tenth of a second there on the eight. That lap. Gained another tenth through one and two. That's how I do it. You know, if I can gain a tenth through one and two each lap and then hold serve through three and four, Steady, real, steadily reel these guys in. That's kind of the name of the game. That time I even gained another 10 through 3 and 4. So, I like to, on corner entry, just clip that apron. I don't know if that's necessarily optimal, but it feels comfortable for me and it feels fast. Um, getting a pretty good runoff, too, there. And now I'm all over the bumper of the 8 car. Gonna make him nervous the same way that I did with the 12. And maybe I'll get him to move over too. We shall see.
try to just get right to his bumper again. Um, I have noticed that I'm also gaining on the couple guys in front of him. That gap's dropped down from three seconds down to two to the three car. So, looks like as things go on these longer runs, I wasn't too good on the restart, but I'm doing a lot better in the actual race. Well, here we go. Outside. Making the move on the eight. He's gonna let me go and not fight it. Here we go. Fifth spot. Got a top five now. Gonna try to get a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm in decent shape, so we'll see. Just got to make sure that I don't knock anything off the car and just keep running consistent laps. I got 14 to go, and I think I'm faster than these next two. I don't know if they've burned their tires off. I know that the three's got some significant front end damage both from running into the back of me and running into some other guys. Um, so if, you know, all things being equal, I'll be able to run faster than him because I should have better aero down the straightaways. But that two-second gap could be a bit too much. We'll see. Just got to drive smooth and try to chip into it as best as I can. Tenth a corner will do it. Just got to make sure that I don't overdrive it. If he starts feeling the pressure, maybe I can get him to make a mistake. Which I think he did. I think he got into the wall in three and four there. Decent through one and two. Mikey, thanks for the follow, man. As I said, I'll be thanking all my new followers at the end of this race. Um, just happened to catch that one out of my corner of my eye, so Mikey's eight, thanks, man. Cedric, hey, man, how's it going? Sorry if I'm not super responsive to what's going on in the chat. I'm really focused on driving this thing, and it is getting loose as the tires were out. Just noticed the back end kicking out in a way that it hadn't been before then. Damn, oh goodness. The 18 <laughs> staying out on tires. That was not the right move. He has paid the ultimate price for that. So now he's having to pit under green. Ten to go. And it's a 1.8 second gap to the three car. Trying to reel him in a little bit. I'm losing ground to the one who has been faster than me this whole race. He was a half second quicker than me in qualifying, so I'm not surprised that he's pulling away from me. Um, but yeah, the, I actually beat the three in qualifying, so my hot lap time was faster than his. Um, but the seven was faster than me on the hot lap. The eight was actually faster than me on the hot lap, but I've been faster than him during the race. And I don't know who's leading. Probably the two, I would think, who was really quick in the race. I don't know what, I guess he probably didn't log a qualifying time. Um, eight laps to go now. And that leads down to a set, the difference is down to a second and a half up to that three car. So, I'm not cutting it down necessarily super consistently, but I have gained on him. I'm going to need to start chopping it down a lot quicker than this, though, if I'm actually going to catch him before this thing's over. Interestingly, I think that three and four is now where I'm gaining most of my time. 
one and two, we seem to be pretty even, and he might even be a little bit faster than me through there. But I've been three and four, it seems like he's actually using up the right side of his car a little bit and over driving it and hitting the wall a couple times. So that's been where I've been able to take chunks out of his uh, time. That time I uh, gained another couple tenths. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get there or not, guys. But I'm gonna give it, a, give it everything I've got. It's down to 1.4 seconds, and we're coming to get five to go. That's a little bit of contact for me into the wall. I think I hit it with the rear, but it didn't slow me down. Um, 31.2. So here we go, getting that drive off too, <laughs> Batman really wants to kick out a little bit, it's all kinds of slideways and sideways, another Darlington strike, oh no, is that the end? I think that's the end, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, three to go. That'll be the end. Hey! Darlington, 0x, and a top five. I will take that. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Alright, so let's catch up. Uh, Denny Hamlin at Martinsville. I was on Chase Elliott's side with that one. Um... <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's water, not wine. Um, Cedric Melbourne, man, good to see you. Uh, cool, thank you, man. Appreciate you returning the follow. Uh, good seeing you. And, uh, yeah. That is a top five. So, that felt pretty good. Good win. That was fun. Got a top ten finish if you were, you know. Behind the Finish on the lead lap. I think about the only chance go. I had. Was so that was pretty good lap, you know. As much of a mess as it was at the three. beginning of that race, the you know. Yeah. Kind of ran it out green oh, there at the end. Was able to do end, some real good racing. Too. It's like that middle part is hard. Um, actually ran down a couple guys and passed yeah, them for was, position, so that was fun. There was no way uh, was say, I'm pretty um, happy with that really fifth place finish. That's the either. first, like I said, that's the first time I've run in the B car in a It'll long a time. 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 So coming away from that for with a uh, fifth place finish is pretty good. Got to get the top five. Just promoted to B, haven't run a race yet. How is it compared to C? Um, you have more power, um, less and a lot less downforce. So. You know, with the the with C in the trucks, they're super tight. It's really hard to over gas it and spin it out. The B car, you can absolutely give it too much gas and loop yourself around. Um, and then the A car, it's another step up there. The A cars are super twitchy and it can almost feel like they're on glass sometimes. So, you know, the the the. the it's been a long time since I did my C to B promotion, but the biggest thing, you know, that I would say is, you know, bigger engine and a lot less rear downforce is uh, what you're going to notice. Um, so yeah, um, but Nicaraguan six six one, congratulations on your uh, promotion. Nice, Sergeant Speed twenty two. Yeah, man, uh, good job. I'd like to see you guys. Uh, Moving up and working forward. Hope that um, I end up with a race with uh, you guys at some point here soon. Um, nice win, Colin. Yeah, good win, Colin. Man, you were uh, <laughs> you were definitely a lot faster than me, man. Good win. Nice job coming up through the pack, dude. Darlington is a hard track to start on, but honestly, like, start working on it and just. You know, take it easy um, and learn how to drive the track because once you start getting the hang of it, it's one of the most fun tracks to drive. It's an absolute blast. 
So, uh, you know, don't. My biggest advice when you're starting out is don't shy away from challenges. Just recognize that, you know, you are not going to win or probably even top five on your first time out in a new car, new track, or whatever. Don't worry about that. You don't have a car owner to impress. You don't, you're not going to lose your ride. You don't have sponsors to impress. It's not like in the real world big money racing where you've got all this pressure to go out and perform immediately. Take the time and take advantage of the fact that you can use races as practice sessions and actually finish. practice running races. That's my biggest advice in terms of you know how to get better. And... You know, opportunities to get good finishes and will present themselves if you're um, focusing on making sure that you run all the laps and doing that each time. Um, everything else will kind of take care of itself and you will get better over time. Um, so there we go, fifth place across the line. Okay, I'll take that. Flag. That's a good deal, so... You know, had 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 a lot of contact in that race, but nothing too terrible. Um, kept the car pretty clean and uh, brought it home fifth. Zero X top five finish. Um, and you know, it's a, I was the number four car, so this wasn't a super high uh, average I rating field, but that'll be some decent points. Um, that's going to be it for me. So my girlfriend just got home from work, so I'm just going to do one race here. Uh, and, or I, this was just a one-race session, so I am going to sign off. I might be back on for a little bit of D-Class at Bristol or something fun like that later on today, uh, later in the evening. We'll see. But uh, that's going to do it for this particular broadcast. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you had fun. I sure did. That was a... Uh, that was a they good race, a lot of good in. action. They're, uh, they're um, or a beautiful burn they made a mistake. Took a while to get started, like but <laughs> there's <dropped that> <laughs> the pace car or coming back by. But uh, once it got started, it was pretty fun. You, buddy, so I thank you guys really for watching. Like um, if you haven't already, give me a follow on Twitch. Hit subscribe on YouTube. A couple of ways that cost no money that you can really help out the channel. And I would much appreciate it. Um, thank you much, guys. Have a good one.